Ever noticed how North Korean generals wear lots of medals, like walking trophy cases? It's strange because the country hasn't been in big wars for more than six decades. This makes people wonder where these awards come from and why they are given. The reason is not just about doing well in the military but also about a deep system of respect influenced by history and the way their society works. Let's explore why North Korea shows off so many decorations, uncovering a story of their history, culture, and unexpected roots of their military awards. The story begins with the Soviet Union having a big influence on North Korea, especially when it was first starting out. After Japan occupied Korea, many Koreans went to the Soviet Union, including Kim Il-sung, who would later become North Korea's leader. There, he not only found safety but also got involved in the military, leading a group in the Red Army during World War II. The Soviet Union had a tradition of giving medals and honors for both military and civilian achievements. This made a big impression on Kim Il-sung. His time in the USSR showed him that awards are not just for show but can be powerful in motivating people and making them loyal. Kim Il-sung liked the idea of awards so much that when North Korea was formed after the Korean War, he wanted to create a similar system. North Korea started making its own medals and honors, not just for the military but also for other things like work, education, and culture. They didn't copy the Soviet Union exactly, instead, they adapted the idea to fit North Korea's unique situation. The leaders in North Korea saw awards as a way to bring people together and keep them motivated. They wanted every citizen, soldier, or official to feel a strong connection to their country through personal achievements and recognition. Awards also played a big role in making people loyal to Kim Il-sung's leadership and the state. As time went on after the Korean War, North Korea's award system became more complex. They added more types of medals for different achievements, not just in the military but also in areas like science, industry, and culture. This showed a wider view of what was considered valuable service to the nation. In North Korea, the line between getting awards for military things and for regular contributions is not clear. This makes a society where everyone, whether a soldier or a regular person, sees medals and awards as symbols of respect and loyalty. This system in North Korea shows how much they focus on their military, making it the most important. It's not just for the soldiers or those who are good at military stuff, even regular people get special symbols for doing great things. Medals in North Korea celebrate lots of different achievements, not just in the military but also in work and everyday life. North Korea really likes the military, and it's not just about being ready for war. They use it to bring everyone together and make people feel proud of their country. The government uses this military focus to teach people to be disciplined, patriotic, and feel responsible for building the nation. The medals are like rewards for doing things that match what the government wants. Surprisingly, North Korean medals aren't only given for military heroics. They also celebrate things like being excellent at fishing, which helps with food and money. Even activities like building power plants or improving farming get recognized. These projects are important for the country's independence and growth. By giving out medals for these achievements, the government not only says, good job, but also encourages people to keep helping the country grow. This way of giving out awards shows that North Korea's leaders want everyone to follow their military-focused ideas. What's fascinating is that they care about all kinds of contributions. For example, they give medals for doing well in coal mining or growing crops, which are important for the country's energy and food. This makes these tasks as respected and honored as traditional military achievements. The whole award system in North Korea is based on complex psychological reasons. The medals they give out are like a way for the government to show they notice and appreciate what people do. This is crucial in a place where individual achievements often get overshadowed by group goals. Getting a medal fulfills a basic human need for recognition and respect, making people more committed to what the country wants. Having lots of medals also helps bring people together by showing who has achieved what in both the military and regular jobs. It makes people feel like they belong and encourages them to work harder for the country. When you compare North Korea's way of giving awards to other countries, there are some noticeable differences. In many places, medals are usually only given for brave actions in the military, and they are rare and highly valued. For example, 
in the United States and many European countries, there's a structured system for military honors, and only a few get the highest awards, often after they've passed away. In North Korea, they have a unique way of giving out awards. These honors can be passed down or shared within families, which is not common in other places. It means that family history is really important in serving the country, and it connects different generations to the country's beliefs and goals, creating a continuous chain of loyalty and service. Now, let's talk about the rules of three generations and how it affects awards. North Korea's award system is influenced by a policy called the Rules of Three Generations. This policy decides how honors are given out and what punishments are given. Understanding this policy helps us see how honor, punishment, and legacy work together in North Korean society. According to the Rules of Three Generations, what one person does can affect their family for three generations, their parents, children, and grandchildren. This policy has historical roots and values that focus on family loyalty and everyone taking responsibility. In North Korea, it's used to reward loyalty and make sure people follow the rules. Originally, the policy was meant to make sure everyone was loyal to the government and to stop people from going against the rules. It holds the whole family responsible for what one person does, making sure everyone follows the government's ideas. By using the strong bonds in families and the fear of everyone being punished, this approach keeps things in order and makes people stay loyal to the government. The rules of three generations policy has two sides. On the positive side, it allows the recognition of achievements to go beyond just one person. Families of heroes get benefits like better living conditions, education, and jobs. On the negative side, if one person in the family does something against the government, the whole family, parents, children, and even grandchildren, can face serious punishments like going to jail or doing hard labor. This tough punishment is meant to stop people from going against the government by using the natural instinct to protect their family. This policy has a big impact on giving out medals and honors. It means that what one person does doesn't just affect them, it affects their whole family. This shared responsibility encourages people to follow the rules and be loyal, but it also makes them feel vulnerable. Knowing that what you do could either make your family proud or cause trouble for generations influences not just how individuals behave, but also how the whole country thinks. The government uses these awards to promote loyalty, discipline, and a sense of duty among its citizens. It's a way of connecting individuals to the national narrative through personal achievements. The award system has evolved over the years, reflecting North Korea's efforts to establish its unique identity and sovereign statehood. A crucial part of this system is the influence of the Soviet Union on North Korea's leader, Kim Il-sung. His experiences in the USSR shaped his vision for North Korea's honor system. After the Korean War, North Korea aimed to establish itself as a distinct and independent nation, and the award system played a crucial role in achieving this. In conclusion, North Korea's award system is more than just a way of acknowledging achievements. It's a powerful tool used by the government to shape its society, reinforce its values, and project a certain image both internally and on the global stage.